The day I decided to escape the urban chaos in my 1987 Chevy G20, the world decided to fall apart. I remember driving into the heart of the ancient woods, seeking solace amongst its timeless whispers. My trusty van, rust-hued and a bit creaky at the joints, seemed just as eager to venture into the unknown. As the sun bowed down, casting long shadows that danced ominously on the woodland floor, the reality beyond the trees started to unravel. An insidious infection was turning folks into the undead. Now the first hint of trouble was a sudden jolt that sent me sprawling against the steering wheel. I cursed aloud as I realized that the van was stuck in a muddy pit. Hours of futile efforts until the moonlit canopy yielded nothing but sweet soaked frustration. That night, sleep was a distant dream. Every creak of the woods sounded like a prelude to a sinister symphony. As dawn painted the sky with shades of terror, I saw them, grotesque figures emerging through the veils of mist, their eyes hollow, their intent deadly. The silence of the first was replaced by the eerie moans of their approaching death. With a rusty wrench in one hand, I stood my ground. Every strike against the gnarled flesh felt like a futile effort to delay the inevitable. It was in that moment of despair that Woodland's eerie calm was shattered by the roaring engines of a group of survivors. They stormed in, their faces hardened by the horrors they'd witnessed, their eyes still holding a flicker of hope. Together, we turned the vicinity around the Chevy into a makeshift fortress. Our days morphed into a continuous battle. Nights were filled with eerie silences broken only by sporadic cries of the undead. The Chevy transformed from a mere van to a symbol of our defiance against death. The camaraderie amidst despair was unexpected. We shared stories of loved ones lost with the world that once was. We found laughter in the face of doom. It was, you know, the rebellion against the dread that sought to consume us. One morning, amidst the cacophony of chirping birds and groaning zombies, a cracking radio transmission pierced through, offering coordinates to a haven. Hope surged through our veins as we rallied to free the Chevy from its muddy prison. With every rev of the engine, the wood seemed to cheer for our indomitable spirit. The journey through the death-infested labyrinth was a test of our resolve. The Chevy burr the scars of our fight. Its rust-hued frame seemed to gleam with a sheen of victory as we navigated through the woods towards salvation. Upon reaching the haven, amidst the cheers of survival and the tears of relief, I looked at the battered yet unyielding faces of my newfound family. I glanced back at the Chevy, standing silent yet proud. Its frame a testament to our unyielding spirit. As I stepped into a new, uncertain beginning, I knew the tales of our valor would echo through time, narrated by the whispers of the ancient woods.